for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up guys, And here and today, I have got two of the new Team Up Blister Packs for you guys to show you. So we got the Pikachu and we got the Mimikyu with Litten Coins. You know I'm always happy to see coins that aren't Pikachu, so this is definitely good. And what's even better, both of these cards in here are promos. And not that insanely stupid alternate art we keep seeing time and time again. It's no secret, I am not a fan of the whole alternate art print thing. Like... You had a good thing with the Black Star promo, so why try to fix what isn't broken? I don't know. Uh, I don't make the Pokemon money. I don't work with Pokemon, so I don't know why they do what they do, but there's a lot of things that they do that they don't really need to do. And the alternate art was definitely one of them. Because really, like, they're not really all that nice to collect. Not to mention, sure, there's a different artwork, but it doesn't keep it in rotation longer like a promo would. So, really, there was not very much point. Like, the only ones that I could somewhat see that were okay were was Tapu Lele. Because even though that was just an alternate art, it still made it... It still made the card cheaper and more affordable for players. So, that's the only one that I would say was okay. Every other alternate art, though, was just n not necessary. So our promos here are Mimikyu and Pikachu. Pikachu's got the Nuzzle, which actually has a bit of an archetype behind it now with Nuzzle, so that's pretty cool. And Thunder Jolt does 30, and it does 10 to itself. That's lame. But it's really just another Nuzzle Pokemon. Then look at that artwork. Pikachu with the Mimikyu in the shadow. That looks adorable. The Mimikyu especially. But they both look adorable. Speaking of Mimikyu, we got this one here. We've got Mimic and Play Rough. Shove your hand to your deck, then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. Not bad. It's basically a copycat. And play rough does 20 damage and heads 20 more. So, nah, just, they look very nice. <laughs> if nothing else, they look really, really adorable. And see, since they're promos, these actually have a reason to be collected. And that's coming for someone who isn't even a collector, so, yeah. And as I said, we have Litten Coins here, which I'm just happy to not bringing out that same printed Pikachu one they've done for several, several years. So any change of pace when it comes to coins is always welcome. And they both had a package team up in them. So let's go ahead and see what we gonna get. Do we get lucky if we get the loaded packs here? Or is N gonna get very unlucky? Like he is with everything. <laughs> All right. All right, put that down. It's really hollows and reverse as I would want from the set more than anything. Though, of course, there's some ultras that I would want. So we got ourselves a Pidgey, a Dratini, Ponyard, Lolan Grimer, Ponyta, Nidorino, Fairy Charm, UB. We got War Turtle. We have a Reverse Jinx and a Kabutops. Just a non hollow rare, but it is why Maxi's got banned, because this would have been just stupid. And we have our other packet team up here. If it ever wants to open. Uh, why can't I open up Pokemon packs like I do Dragon Ball ones? Like, those are so much easier to open. There we go. And, ooh. That's promising right there. Ooh, very promising indeed. Alright, one of them's good. Alright, so we got Litten. Grammar. Execute. Larvitar. Meowth. Ingo and Emmett, Charmeleon, come on, Morgan, Reverse Charmander, and a Lycanroc GX. Man, I, I love the Twilight version. It's just, it looks so nice. Its ability is not bad either. It's kind of like Bloodthirsty Guys, but instead of acting as a Guzma, it essentially acts as an, an enhanced hammer. Well, well, actually not exactly an enhanced hammer. It's like a crushing hammer that you don't have to flip for. You just get rid of any energy on your opponent's active, so it's it's not bad. But Excel Rock is, mm, I mean, at least we have ways to boost up that damage, so it's not terrible. And the GX moves Splintered Shards, 30 for each energy in your opponent's discard. It works with the ability. Works with the ability, so it's okay. It's better than the midday. I'll say that much. 
like the regular midday one, it's definitely better than that one. So again, I will give it that. So if you guys enjoyed this opening, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Pokemon content. I don't think we did too bad here today. Got two cute promos. We got a card that caused the ban list. And we got a GX, so pretty good. We did not do bad whatsoever. And with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you all next time.